All right, uh, we're back at it again with Killer Love, this time with the boy uh, Cameron. Say hello, Cameron, hello. to the lovely yep, to the lovely people at home. Okay, uh, can you see the game? Can you see the game? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, we're going to load. All right, here we go. Um, Devin plays the wonderful Anna, and I guess we'll give... Um, Grace, was that her name? Grace to Cameron. So, yeah. I was trying to reason with her. I crossed my arms and said nothing, hoping she wouldn't notice that my heart was... would pounding way too fast. Anna, give me a... gave me a good hard look. <laughs> yeah, the fuck it. <coughs> Red, the the Tom the Thomas <laughs> Jefferson seventy sixes. <sighs> We're gonna have to bleep that whole thing. I'll see you later, Crackjack. And she went away. I let out a long breath I hadn't noticed I was holding. I felt awful. Even worse, I felt Anna had been right. There had definitely been something familiar about her. But I didn't want to find out more. Next time she comes in, I'll treat her the same way, I told myself. Guessing correctly, there'd be a next... Guessing correctly, there'd be a next time. Guessing wrongly, that it'd be at the store. I'll do it again and again, until she gives up. I don't know what she wants, but I won't give an inch. <laughs> the old lady cried out. She found a quarter. Oh shit. Up, oh, up. Oh. Alright, here you go, Cameron. Amazing, Jack! She must have recognized you from childhood. She said 15 years, didn't she? That's right from the time you can't remember. Oh yeah, me in a million years for sure. Yeah. I don't know. She might be some. <sighs> I don't know. She might be some sort of scam artist. I just come. I'd just come up with an idea of Anna being a scam artist. It seemed a good enough excuse not to go near her again. Yeah, right. Come on, Jack. At least give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't need her, Grace. I've got you. I got you, B. I'm not telling you to. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you to fuck her, okay? Uh, to, to lay down that long heart. Be so rude to her next time, okay? I wasn't being rude. You so were. Uh... Okay, so what if I was? Huh? Were you, uh, you gonna do something bad? Huh? Huh? Square up, plug. <laughs> Kevin. I can't, I can't hear you. <laughs> Could you say that loud again? <laughs> I said, it's not fair to her. She seems like a nice girl. You sound like an old lady. She seems like it. <laughs> Don't think it'd be good for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good for you. What? To be friends with her? No, not really. Tell you about her. About that. She could tell. No! She could tell you about your past. <laughs> then maybe some things would start making sense. Oh, fucking hell. You could put whatever. <laughs> <laughs> then some things would start making sense. You could put whatever you want, whatever happened behind you. Because the last thing you want are your Burger King burger. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Huh? Fuck! Bye bye! Bye, Papi Jolo! Don't let the pepper expire you! Oh my god. Uh huh. If, yeah, it's just gonna be me and you now, bud. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> but nothing, but nothing yeah. happened. Something must have happened, Jack. People don't. Grace fell silent. She started running her fork through the peas on her plate. 
We were having dinner. People don't what? Well, people don't do that at night. Unless something happened to them. I keep telling you, it must be some kind of weird insomnia. Nothing more. Sleepy pills don't work on the end. Something will, eventually. This dick! Ah. But why not try this? The memories you have, it's like they want out. I think they should get out too. And you won't be scared of whatever happened anymore. And how does that work exactly? Subscribe to the browser. <laughs> You'll be able to face it properly. It helps. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it helped me a lot, you know, thinking about what happened to me. See, it's not as bad as I thought it was. I stubbornly refused to answer, and went on eating like there hadn't been a conversation at all. F what a fucking prick! Holy shit! What Grace had referred to was something I'd only recently found out. Apparently, I shouted and kicked an at night a lot. Damn, must be that. Uh, it took a perk 30 and shit hit different. Sometimes I all out screamed. Maybe I still do all that. Who knows? Maybe the staff that and patients that. girls are all the same. <laughs> I was coming back home from a morning shift at the store. Where is this? What? 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 No, 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 no. What is that? What is what is this? Is he looking up? Is it overcast? Is it is he stuck in like a void? What is this? I went to our building, up to the second floor, down the hall to mine and Grace's door, and I froze. There was someone standing in front of our door. That someone was her. Anna? Jack. Uh, you gotta you gotta do a different voice, you gotta do something else, man. Jack. Oh goodness, what are you doing here? Don't tell me you. She pointed at the door, as if to ask if I lived there. Yes, that's my apartment. As you damn well know. The half the oh the hallway air felt warm and stale. Soup like. Who the fuck who refers to soup as stale? What are you doing here? Fuck your bitch! <laughs> I was going to say hello to my new neighbor. So, hello! Just fucking dex her in the fucking throat. Huh? Here. <laughs> she pushed something into my hands. It was a plate wrapped in plastic wrap. There was something brown on the plate. Oh shit! <laughs> It's a, it's a pile of her own shit. I'm sure you'll like the Jack. Oh, yeah. Oh. But we're not neighbors. I spat the words out. Yes, we are. I'm right over there. Anna showed me the door to the right of mine. Uh. That place had been empty for weeks. I'm pretty sure the guy who lived there before... I'm sure the guy who lived there before that was a heroin addict. I still can't get over the fucking sentence. He didn't seem so bad now. One amazing coincidence though. To think we'd end up living so close by again. It's not a coincidence, is it? What the fuck is it then? A fucking fortune cookie? <laughs> she stabs right. me. <laughs> Come on, really? What are you trying to do? It's obvious you planned this. Fucking whore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's no the way. Saltiest guy on the planet. Yeah, he's a fucking dickhead. There's no way something like this could happen by accident. And I left. 
There was a sound like a fork scraping a plate. Ew. Well. You can believe it's a coincidence, or you can believe it's not. Return the slab. <laughs> or suffer my curse. Either way, we'll be fucking each other pretty sure. Ah! Enjoy the brownies. Don't enjoy the brownies. She fucking laced them with like her cum or eat brownies. <laughs> cum brownies. Thanks. I'm not a big fan of sweet stuff, but I'm sure Grace will love them. Thanks. What have you done? Oh, you fucking dumbass! You've sealed. You. What was the line? Not only have your feelings betrayed you, but they have betrayed her as well. Who is Grace? None of your none of your concern. Oh, my dick writer. <laughs> I pointed at our door with my thumb. We live together. My idea was that in case she was acting like this because she was interested in me, I'd gently tell her I was taken. Grace. Yes. She must be a nice girl. Um, I guess, I guess you can say that. She's a little nice in some other places, if you know what I mean. The best I've ever known. She's lucky to have you. <laughs> Sloppy dropping the yo fucking mom. It's the fuck, some girl looking at us, the fuck. It's the other way around. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's been nice chatting. <laughs> I'll say hi to Grace for you. I should go and say hello myself. <laughs> no. I'd rather you not. No need. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she's not here right now. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I pretended to unlock the door. It was already on the wall. I slipped in. Oh, I slipped in and shut the door in Anna's face. In the apartment, I found I could breathe freely again. Son of a bitch. Talk to this girl. Be friends with her. Not a chance. She creeped the hell out of me. Writing all this down, I can see why Grace thought I was overreacting. The plain facts of it don't seem that bad at all. A friend I hadn't seen in years noticed me at a workplace, talked with me a bit, and then happened to move right in right next to me. But I knew right off the right from the start that there was something off about her. That's not something to ignore. Paranoid? Yeah. Paranoid? Yeah. Yeah. Still paranoid? Probably. But nah August the twelfth. And uh, Anna's brownies. Mm. Huh. That's weird. The room is the room is spinning. Oh fuck. Uh oh. I didn't have any, but Grace said so. uh, oh, but Grace said so. I didn't know they weren't poison, Jackass. I wanted to throw the brownies into the trash, but Grace caught wind of them too quickly. She's like a <laughs> I was a child hound. She's like a bloodhound when it comes to sweet stuff, chocolate especially. And then of course I had to explain where I'd got them. Ah, weird. I know, right? There's no way it's a coincidence. Yeah. It must be a sign. A sign of what? That like she's stalking me? You know, it is weird that she was stalking me, since she knew where I lived, but that she didn't know about Grace. I mean, she couldn't have known with how surprised she was. I don't think she was acting. Was it just a coincidence then? No, absolutely not. That I refuse to accept. I think we we'll say hi. I can make something for her too. Do we have any butter left? I want to bake her cookies. 
<laughs> about the butter. Uh, if you see a, a an oblong shaped hole in the center, uh, 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 don't uh, don't question it. It was like that when I bought it. Uh, I swear. Um, Wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you'll eat most on your, and then you'll, and, and, uh. Cameron? I said hey. You said the line again? Hey! I don't see the point of going to just, to see more than enough of her anyway. We live so close by. We're neighbors. I want us to get started on the right foot. And maybe she and I could be friends. <laughs> if you consider friends being strung up in a fucking basement with a gag around your throat, I'm sure. Huh? Huh? I think that'd be nice. I wrapped my arms around her. Oh, yeah. Get, come here, baby. Oh. Of course. You deserve that. But please, find a friend that's not her. Why? Once again, I couldn't properly explain why. I couldn't put it down as anything more than a, than a hunch, a gut feeling that I'd get whenever I was near her. He's got to see her for myself. To see if she's really such a horrible person. Trust me, you're better off without it. The next day in the afternoon, I was lying down on our sofa. I was nursing a headache that had been with me since morning. Grace told me she'd be back. Who knew back meant... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> she went out of the apartment with something in her hands, and then a smell of freshly baked cookies wafted out of the kitchen. It still took me about two minutes to piece the puzzle together. <laughs> ah, shit, I whispered. I, am, I was immediately up. Not good, not good. Panic struck me harder than I would expect. I was like, oh, it was like with gracing Anna all by herself, some vulnerable part of me was exposed. I wanted to bring Grace back and lock the door and keep her safe and never, ever let her out of my sight. But I also didn't want to go in there. Just, I just stood there, head in my hands, wondering what the hell to do. All at once, I was telling myself to go there. You coward. But also to stay here, you idiot. And somewhere far away, a tiny little voice, very tiny, very little, was telling me I was overreacting. Then there came the sound of glass breaking. It had come from where else? Anna's apartment. I went to the wall that separated our apartments. There was no sound at all, nothing to explain the crash. I finally overcame my cowardice. I dashed out from the apartment to hers. When I got there, I saw broken glass and blood, and Grace was kneeling down, and Anna stood above her, and, and they were both smiling. They stopped when they noticed me there, out of breath and confused. Jack? Hold, hold on a minute. What's going on here? What's happening? What's all this then? Hi Jack, did you decide to join us? No, I... Alright, what's all this then? This? Anna waved her hand at the floor, at all the bits of glass, white ceramic actually. They were also scattered cookies and drops of blood? Yes! That! Just looking at the blood made me feel sick, like I was gonna throw up, but I couldn't peel my eyes away from it. I've always been like that around blood. I've never had the stomach for it. Grace was picking up the broken pieces of ceramic. There was a little accident. Grace just falls apart into little tiny pieces. <laughs> she was cut. An accident? Yes. What else? Grace, what happened? It's my fault, really. 
The cookies were hotter than I thought, so I dropped the whole plate. And it was Anna's plate too. Be careful, Grace. You might cut yourself. She's cut herself already. Look. Huh? She only now seemed to notice the blood around her. What? What's what's all this? She just got a fuck. She just got a lung missing. <laughs> but uh, I. Grace checked her hands. Turned them around a few times to see from every angle, but no cut found no Am I going insane? Like like what's going what's going on here? Is it me? Am I the problem? It's not me. <laughs> it's my blood. <sighs> what? Anna was I just noticed holding her left hand tightly with her right. There was a little blood still trickling from between her knuckles. Oh, 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 no. Oh, I just got the. Oh, fuck. You ever seen that, that, that gif where the guy just. Grace's hands were hovered around Anna's. She looked willing to help, but. Afraid she's doing something wrong. How did this even happen? I try to pick up some of the pieces. They're pretty sharp, aren't they? Hang on, Anna. I'll. I'm fine. I don't need you to do anything. The way Anna said that was forceful, almost harsh. Is ceramic really that? Sharp? Can ceramic be that sharp? I mean, iDubs cut his shit. I mean, did you see that video? iDubs cutting his whole shit open. He w no, he was doing an unboxing. He was messing. He he smacked like a ceramic like fucking thing, and it broke right when he smacked it, and just fucking gashed right into his uh palm. So I guess technically it could be that sharp. Grace backed away. I. I can still help. She remembered I was there. Jack, go get some gods. All right, fuck, back up, okay? <laughs> you're like right in my ear. You're like right. Me. You fucking. We have gods. Oh, useless. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she finally stepped back. <laughs> Frustrated. More frustrated than I'd ever seen before, Grace ran off to get the gauze herself. She left me there in the belly of the beast. I tried being polite. <laughs> Shame about the cookies. I didn't get to eat a single one. Well, when you think about it, it's your floor. So if you wanted to, you could just eat off of it. But if you're hesitating, then that clearly represents how unclean you are as a human. So I'd eat the fuck off my floors. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. Oh, no. Oh, she picked up one of those. Oh, I'm gonna no uh, 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 no 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 we're saving it there saving it. <laughs> oh fuck oh, oh my god all right we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna continue this <laughs> next time or with whoever the hell is still here thank you for joining me Cameron of course fucking now uh